Okay guys, this is Lauren with Phil and Dilla with Philly Pop again. And I wanted to bring you guys my um, DA, or not my DAV, this is a CHKD haul. It's a uh, children's hospital, the King's Daughters uh, thrift store. And I just wanted to bring you my haul that I did tonight as well. Um, I, they had texting Tuesday, which you text a number and you get a, uh, a code or whatever to get a 25% discount on your purchases for the day. <coughs> so I went ahead and did that and um, got a good discount on my stuff. So everything I'm going to tell you the price of, I did get 25% off of. So uh, first thing I'll show you is the uh, vacuum bag. Now, when I got this, uh, sorry about the heater coming on. Uh, it'll pop on every so often so that you can't hear me. I'm sorry. But uh, I'll try to speak up a little bit. Um, this is uh, the Eureka Upright Type U uh, bag. Now, when I got this, it was folded over like this with tape. And for some reason, I just thought it was a full bag. I should have known better, but uh, it wasn't. So, uh, when I got it home, I checked it, opened it up, checked it, and then opened. And uh, the bag's folded over, so it looked a little thicker inside the bag than what it should have. You know, then uh, I, thought, I thought I got the full bag. <coughs> so, um, but instead of ten, there's six in here. So, but I only paid ninety eight cents for it. So, um, if I can sell the six bags for a dollar a piece and get six bucks in, I would not be happy. Um, next thing I got, um, I'm gonna show you guys this hat I got. This is a, uh, I believe this is a vintage uh, Head Start uh, sportswear peanut hat. Now, uh, it's got uh, Sneak Pea on it. It's got uh, him playing different sports. It's got hockey and football and baseball on it. If you guys can see that. And it's got a snapback. It's got kind of a grayish tint uh, snapback there. And the uh, brim of the hat matches the back of the hat. So, I'm pretty sure it's all, you know, legit. So, um... But the tag on it says uh, copyright 1958-1965. So I'm just wondering, I mean, this hat is in such great condition that uh, I'm wondering if somebody just had it as a, in their collection and just didn't wear it. Because, it, it, I mean, it is just really nice. It's not, looks like it really hasn't been worn at all. And um, I'm not sure if it's a reproduction of it or even though, the, I mean, the copyright says 1958, and it has a comma 1965. So, um, I'm not really sure, you know, I would think that if they had done it later in the 80s or something, that it might have another copyright year on it, but I'm not really sure. So, if this is from 1965, then this is totally awesome, because it's in awesome condition. I mean, I don't see any stains or anything on it, so it's really nice and when I looked on eBay I think it's it's you know more than likely a thirty five dollar hat so but if you guys know anything about this um it's uh, the Head Start Sportswear Company. Um so I do believe it is vintage uh, so uh, but if you guys know anything more about it I appreciate any help. Um Picked up uh, this. This is new in the package. It's the Indiana Jones uh, titanium diecast little uh, tank from the movie uh, the Bogle's Mark 7 tank. Um, saw these going on eBay probably around somewhere around ten dollars. So if I can get that out of it, I'll be happy. Shoot, if I can even get six or seven out of it, I'll be happy. Um, I'm only paid ninety eight cents for it. Um, I was a hat too, the Snoopy hat I paid two ninety eight. And um I think I told you the bag that I paid uh ninety eight cents. Uh I actually found one of these. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it was just sitting there with all the other junk and um wasn't even in a case or anything, but it's a uh, Polaroid one step uh close up camera. And I uh, paid three ninety eight for this. Of course, everything I got twenty five percent off of. Um, but 
I couldn't believe I actually found one. I, I've seen so many people pick these up, and I've never been able to find one until now. And so I was really happy to find this, but it's not the one that has a little rainbow thing on it. Uh, I looked it up, and it's a hit and miss whether it, it goes. Um, I'd probably be better off uh, finding some of the more common uh, Polaroids and putting them in a lot and sell them, selling them as a big lot. So, uh, and I don't have anything to test this with, so I don't know if it works. So I, I will be selling it as an untested item because I just don't want to have to buy the film for it. Unless I just happen to come across it at the uh, thrift stores. So, uh, but I was really happy to find one of these. <laughs> I can remember having these when I was young and, you know, my parents having them. <coughs> and, uh, picked up, uh, this sock monkey, um, it looks like it had a tag, but it looks like it's been ripped off. So I have no idea who made it. Um, I didn't pay attention to that when I got it. I had already sold a smaller, uh, sock monkey that was brown, and, which was a D&D brown, our brand, and, um, sold that for eight dollars. But this one's got the Velcro on his hands and on his feet. But I didn't pay attention to it when I got it, until I got it home. It, some of the Velcro is coming loose on it. So I may put this in just the yard sale and just get rid of it. Just get my money back. I uh, paid $2 for it. So if I can get $2 back out of it, I'll be happy. But I may give it a shot on eBay and see if it'll go. But uh, I'm not really sure about it. Um, picked up this. Uh, this is a D&D penguin. Uh, just a little small one. And I paid 98 cents for this, and it's got hard feet and a heart. Well, he's got stuffed feet there, but it's like plastic, or not plastic, but vinyl or whatever. His feet are kind of hard, and um, <coughs> but uh, he was cute. And um, if I don't get rid of him, I'll just give the chip for Valentine's Day or something. Uh, he collects paint ones, so um, I may just save that for him. Uh, and I picked up this. I thought this was brand new in the package when I got it. Um, this is a Rest Easy 2 Pregnancy Wedge. So it's got like a wedge in it and padding that you can prop your legs and your belly up on. And so, uh, but when I got it home, it looks like it's been used because it has Velcro on it where you're going to attach it to the bed. And um, it had like little fuzzies in it of where it had been attached to some material. So, Velcro was kind of dirty, so, um, but it has been used, but, um, if I can get rid of it as a used, uh, pregnancy wedge, I will, I paid $4.98 for it, so I think I overpaid on it, um, but, you know, if I get five bucks out of it again, I'll be happy. <coughs> I picked up a couple of these, uh, these are for CDs, uh, or DVDs, I guess. Um, when I got them, both of these were attached, so I thought it was all one, somehow it was attached to make it look like it was all one piece, but, um, when I got up to the counter, she pulled them apart, and it had 2.98 on each one of them, so, <clears throat> I just went ahead and got them, because I'm planning on getting some, uh, if I can find any CDs or DVDs that are sealed, uh, I want to try to sell those on Amazon. So, uh, as I collect those, I'm going to need something to hold those in. I'll pick those up. Um, show you my clothing items now. Um, I picked up uh, another Harley Davidson t shirt. Now, this one's pretty cool. I like this one. Um, 2002 uh, Harley Davidson. Uh, this is a Legend War, where Legend Soar. Is what it says on the bottom here, and it's got like a little eagle heading towards the moon, and there's like clouds and trees and stuff, and it kind of makes it look like a skull in this area as the eagle spreads its wings. Uh, you guys can see that. Um, it's a uh, pretty neat shirt. It's got a motorcycle rider on the road here. So, um, and the back of it's just your basic uh, logo with Las Vegas on it. So, this is a size large. Um, this one I got is a 
Corvette shirt. It's got a little Corvette logo in it. This is a, um, Corvette Chevy Malibu. Yeah, it's a good style to, to get rid of, I think. Uh, this one was $1.99 and this one was $0.99. So it's up in there. Uh, and my first uh, pearl snap button uh, western shirt. I was so happy to find this, even though it is short sleeve. But uh, the colors in it are really nice. I like it. It's just your basic uh, brown and uh, blue and white stripes in it. So, uh, but it's really pretty. I like the way the pockets are and everything. This is a um, uh, plain western wear shirt. Uh, it, it's a really nice pearl, pearl snap shirt and it's a size extra large. <coughs> this one I got because it does look a little vintage. Um, it's a red, red sand brand. Size large. Now, uh, most of the red things I saw were like t-shirts and they didn't really look anything like this at all, but it, this is kind of a retro looking shirt, I think. Uh, kind of like a 70s type shirt. It's got a little zipper here in the front. It's polyester, so it's really light and, you know, so, uh, but I just thought it was kind of a cool vintage looking shirt, so I picked that up. Uh, this is a paid $1.99 size large. Now, the next two shirts I got is similar to something that I got last night, which is like a military style shirt. This is a um, irreverent brand. Now, the ones I saw online uh, didn't have a military look to them at all. So this is the first one I've seen that's uh, got like a military style to it. Um, it's uh, got like a little eagle... Uh, Kind of looks like a military eagle thing on it um, right here, <coughs> and it's got the pockets on it like that, and with these little things on the shoulders here with the button. So um, I thought it was kind of a cool looking shirt. And it's long sleeve, which is good. And it's just dollar ninety nine, size large, and it's got like a plaid around the inside of the collar. And on the inside of the, uh, one side of the, uh, buttons there, it's got plaid on it. I don't you see that. <coughs> but I figure, um, the kind of political times we're having nowadays, I figure that military-style looking outfits might go pretty good. So, um, I picked up, I try to get as many of those as possible, um, if this, these two and the ones that I got, the one that I got last night, go really good, then I'll, I'll definitely start picking up military-looking type outfits or shirts. Um, <coughs> let's see. Uh, this is a um, point zero shirt. Um, this kind of looks like a military-looking outfit too. Uh, it's more of a polo style though. Um, it's got a couple of pockets here. And it's got the, the, I think this is the point zero trademark here, the skull on it. But it's got something that says, says something here that's kind of, sounds like a little bit military, so, uh, I picked that up. Uh, i how much it is. $1.99 size medium. Uh, I picked this up. This is a pretty cool novelty type shirt. This was $2.99 uh, with the 25% off. Um, <coughs> excuse me, it looks like an uh, eye chart. And it says the only thing uh, worse than being blind is having sight and no vision. So I thought that was a pretty nice saying. It was kind of cool. And different, so I figure somebody might like that shirt. <coughs> um, let's see, that shirt was a size medium. Now this is a uh, Ralph Lauren shirt, and it's a uh, fleece shirt. It's not a fleece jacket, but a, a fleece looking shirt. And um, 
I had seen another Ralph Lauren uh, polo shirt that was just your basic brown, and it just kind of looked too common. I see so many Ralph Lauren shirts online, and um, so I did pick that one up, but I did pick this up just because of the orange color, and it was different and has a little blue uh, logo on it. So uh, this is the uh, most expensive one that I got. Uh, this is six ninety nine with the twenty five percent off. So, and this is a large. So um, that's a nice shirt. I like that one. Uh, I hope somebody will like that. Uh, the next one I got. This is the last one I got. Um, I got a. This is a cabana shirt, and it's a three X. And the reason I got this one is because it has kind of that uh, Charlie Sheen type shirt that he wore on the TV show. And so um, I got this. It's got the stripes, the white stripes down the side here. Just your basic black with the stripes. But uh, I thought that was kind of cool. But it's a nice big size too. And it's two ninety nine, And it's a 3X. So I uh, thought that was kind of neat. Hopefully that'll go. Um, I think I showed you guys everything that I got. Um, yeah, that was everything I got. So, um, okay, until next time, I'll be talking to you guys later. Thanks for watching.